Hello and welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports this Tuesday evening. Hi everyone, here with analysts Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. I'm Brian Anderson, Ali LaForce, our reporter. And we check out the power rankings with plenty of time left in the season. So much could be different by the end of the year. You look at New York, they've risen to third in the latest power rankings, playing well as of late. Seeing where Los Angeles is, they haven't been impressive and they have no one but themselves to blame. Hopefully, they can start to turn it around soon. Well, this one's about to get going, but first, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. Well, current financial challenges have Commissioner Silver and the league office dusting off proposals for expansion. Silver said at some point, it's manifest destiny that the league will eventually expand. The last time that happened was 1988 with the Bobcats. Guys, Seattle fans hopeful things move along. Boy, Ali, wouldn't that be something? Well, Clark, there's always a lot of player movement in the league in the offseason. How long do you think it takes a team with a reshaped roster to come together? Longer than people want it to take. It usually takes a bit of time. I mean, that's a delicate dynamic when you talk about blending pieces together midstream. Um, that's sometimes why teams fly under the radar as they're trying to work out their identity. Here we go. And then when the pieces fall into place, they really um, are off and running. So let's take a look at the Los Angeles Lakers starting lineup. At forward, it's the incredible duo of LeBron and AD. Then there's JaVale McGee. Then there's Zach Levine. And it's Harrison in at the one spot. And for San Antonio, Johnson and Pirtle, the big men. DeJounte Murray is out there with Chris Paul. And it's DeRozan in at the three. Boy, it's no secret that LeBron James is an outstanding passion. Boy, I love his vision in the pick and roll. Here's Paul. Sinks that one from the post. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. And the foul on Chris Paul. That's his first foul. Paul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Paul with a steal. Pass to Johnson. Fires the three. The shot, no good. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. And going against San Antonio, their first meeting of the year. And it's no surprise they won the season series last year. They put more talent on the floor. Yeah, there's a reason they were a playoff team. I mean, they beat the teams they were supposed to. We'll see if they can do it again tonight. Now here's Murray from deep. And there's Paul. That one's good on the assist by Murray. Paul's got his second basket on the night. And defying the analytics trend, DeRozan's favorite shot still remains the mid-range jumper. I mean, they've tried to stretch him out with uneven results. Maybe better to surround him with three-point shooters, create space in the medium range area to maximize his effectiveness. James against Murray. And there's the foul. It'll go on DeMar DeRozan. That's his first That's foul his of the game. First personal foul. Second team foul. Outside Levine. Oh, rejected by Pirtle. And Pirtle deserves a lot of credit for his shot blocking ability. He's a dynamic and dynamite shot blocker. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. To end the run. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Yeah, and you know, as LeBron his continues his illustrious, remarkable career, the question seems unavoidable. It's inevitable. Him or MJ, the greatest of all time. For me, it's a matter of what flavor you like. You can't go wrong with either one. Personally, I know George's got the rings. LeBron's got the career numbers. But I like the fact LeBron is 6'8", 250 plus, And Jordan was only 6'6", 215. I'm going with the bigger guy. Now here's Johnson. Pass to Murray. And here's Paul. Now here's Pirtle. 
The kick out to Johnson. Six on the shot clock. Took the opportunity when he saw it. You know, Clark, it seems LeBron has cemented his top two spot. But many will say he'll never pass Jordan. What do you think? Well, B, I tell you what. I don't have a problem with those folks who say that MJ is the greatest. I can see why people feel that way. And I'm leaning that way, but I love what LeBron has done longevity-wise. Titles are not the only measure for greatness in a team sport. So LeBron would get my nod just by an edge, a whisker, if I had to pick one or the other, him or him. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for the Spurs. Well, I'll tell you what, they must have had a good shoot around because they've been fantastic from long range so far, fellas. I also like what they've done on the fast break in their first half tonight. They're taking it to them. Well, you look at McGee and the career resurgence he's undergone, guys, outstanding. I mean, when he's been in the right situation, he's been very effective. Yeah, and there it is for him. That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. Ugh. Those are free points you're giving away. You gotta work harder on the glass. Now, here is James. Driving inside. Paul with a steal. And here they come. San Antonio. The 2K leaderboard highlighting last San season's San assist Murray. leaders. Third is Chris Paul. Not a lot of guys had better vision on the floor than him. He was able to see passing lanes and ready shooters no one else could. The first one falls. You can tell Levine has a real enthusiasm and flair for the offensive end of the floor. I mean, he loves to fill it up. What he loves even more is taking off for one of his spectacular dunks. Making shots at the line. You need a good routine, and he certainly has one. Murray finds Pirtle. Oh, McGee with the block. Yeah, if you had to pick the top priority for McGee, I think that's it. Contest shots, block shots, get in the air, use that length to deny shots at the rim. Well, you know, he's not a guy that's just going to settle for pulling up. When he has an opportunity, he's going to take it strong to the hoop. Outside Paul. James with the rebound. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Outside for Davis. James double teamed. Outside Levine. No good on the triple. The Spurs have gone 5 of 9 from the floor. Murray from outside hits the trifecta. Murray's got six points. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Basket LeBron. counts. Yeah, you know, LeBron is such a talented finisher. The defense in that situation just unable to keep him from that shot. To the paint. Here's Paul. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Paul's got his third basket on the night right there. The Lakers trail. Here's Harrison. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. James outside. Davis a screen. James with the ball. And Johnson picks him up defensively. Davis. And that one's good. That makes him two for three. Well, LeBron James is LeBron clearly a tremendously talented passer. When a guy is open, he'll get him the ball. Murray passes to Pirtle. Here's Paul. Davis with a rebound. That's a shot he'd like back. He's usually going to make those. Levine against Johnson. Now here's Levine. Not a lot of room. Lays it up and banks it in. Nice work that time by Levine using his length. He can do damage in there. I'm called here. San Antonio decides to talk it over. Defeated by Milwaukee in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Who wants a T-shirt? Make some noise! All right, we'll do something on the court. Come on and get loud for your first let's squad. Completely 
new group for the Lakers. Now here's Walker. He's covered closely. Pass to Vassell. Now here's Walker. Eight points in his last time out. Four on the clock. Count it. Good. A very high percentage look when the D is nowhere to be seen. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 3 from downtown. Here's Bazemore. Right wing. Takes the three. Nails it from three. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Pass to Eubanks. Deflected! And as it goes out of bounds, San Antonio will keep possession. San Antonio ball. San Antonio with the ball. Outside Walker. Five on the clock. Rebound by the Lakers. They come into this one having outplayed the Grizzlies last time. They were lights out from beyond the arc, and they spaced the floor beautifully in that one. There's all kind of talk in the game today about stretching the floor, because when you do that, everything else just becomes a little easier. And they keep trading punches. Both teams in a groove early. Hey, guys, this is going to be fun now. I mean, we've got ourselves a shootout on tap here. Here's Bazemore. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Inside, it's tipped. Pass to Eubanks. Here's Shangun. On the wing, Vassell. Outside, Walker. White for three. It's hauled in by Fall. The Lakers have gone 6 of 11 so far. And you talk to anyone about White, Grant, they'll tell you, he's best when he's being assertive. I totally agree. I mean, White can be caught standing around when he's not involved. You want him initiating and pick and roll, and he makes pretty good decisions. Now, he may never be a star, but he's going to give you solid minutes. And you like the balance here, not just falling in love with the three ball. Pass to Eubanks. To the inside. Doesn't go for him. And Los Angeles the other way now. Anthony in the post. Nice move. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And you know, Carmelo Anthony is a special player, guys. A bulky small forward with a quick trigger release and elite score. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for the Lakers. Second free throw, no good. San Antonio leading. Here's Vassell. Down low. Here's Eubanks. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. He may give up a little size, but has the bounce to hold his own. Here's Bazemore. He's guarded by White. Pass to Davis. Davis drawing the double team. Three-pointer, Anthony. They get the rebound. Here's Bullock. Here's the three. That one falls. Coming off Davis' feed. Bullock's got six points. You know, with AD's improved court awareness, when guys on his team get open, he'll find them. Eubanks the screen. 11 feet out. Davis with a rebound. The Lakers have gone 8 for 14 from the floor. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Anthony in the post. To the middle. It's Bullock on the wing. Anthony with a screen on Walker. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. It's tipped. And he's able to get it back. And there's the shot clock violation. 
Couldn't get the shot off in time. Outside White. Here's Eubanks. And that's not going to go. One quarter in the books. And it's been a close one. It's the Spurs up by one. And we'll be back in just a minute with the start of the second quarter. And the great LeBron James says he's not focused on numbers. It's all about getting that W. There's no pressure for none of us to score. There's no pressure for any of us to do more than, than you have to. Um, you know, for me, I'm just, I'm whatever. I'm, I'm all about winning. And it's all about playing the right way, isn't it? It really is, B.A. And when you're playing team basketball, that removes some of the pressure. When it comes down to it, hero ball often falls short. And a close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. All right, guys, before we move on, what do you think about the Spurs at this point? Well, it's simple. I mean, they started off strong, and they've been hot from beyond the arc since the get-go. Well, the player and ball movement has been excellent. Finding space, operating in space, and when they've gotten open shots, they've knocked them down. Johnson and Pirtle, the big men. Chris Paul out there with DeJounte Murray. And it's DeRozan in at the three. That's who's in the game for the Spurs. Now here's Pirtle from deep Johnson. And rebounded by Zach Levine. Surprising to see him miss here. But they'll be happy with that shot in most possessions. No good on the shot. Johnson with the defensive effort. And the dunk by DeRozan. You know, we know Murray's got some creativity to his passing game, but no need to be creative there. I mean, he sees the wide open man and zips it right to him. It's Levine with a drive, and he gets it to go. Now two of six in the game. San Antonio has gone five of ten from beyond the three-point line in this game. Paul finds Murray. Back to Paul. Three-pointer. Hey, now five for eight, shooting a pretty good percentage right now. Tell you what, he has been feeling it, guys, and the best game plan right now, it's elementary. Just keep feeding him. Let him eat. It's James with the drive. As a Rookie of the Year Award winner yourself, Grant, what do you see as the biggest challenge facing today's rookie? I honestly think with all the information and expectations, the hardest thing for young players today is meeting those expectations because of all the great rookies who've come before and gone on and had success right away. That pressure, a lot of times, can be a lot for a young player entering the league. The Lakers making a switch here. McGee's checked in. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Now, here is James. Coming off a 34-point game against Memphis. Oh, yeah. He was also sending back shot after shot. I think he had four rejections. That changes how your opponent attacks. Harrison, no good. The Spurs have gone four for six here in the second. Back to Paul. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Kicks it to DeRozan. Yes! And it's Paul with the assist that time. Paul's got three assists tonight. They've been pretty lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three-pointers. And their defensive rotations have been non-existent. And there's the foul. DeMar It'll go on DeMar DeRozan. That'll get him his fourth foul of the game. His fourth foul already, and we're not even at halftime. They'll likely limit his minutes the rest of the way. Walker, he's checked in for San Antonio. Now here's Levine. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Memphis. Four on the clock. Here's McGee. And McGee with the stuff. I like the fact that McGee not just going through the motions here. I mean, setting a good solid screen, timing his roll perfectly. That's um, basketball 101 there. Here's Murray. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Milwaukee. Impacting both sides of the floor. Four steals showing the work he did defensively. 
Now here's Paul. They're leading by eight. Robbed. Murray against James. And the shot's good. James has got his third basket of the night. Tell you what, if he's within sounding distance of the basket, he's going to get his buckets. You can count on that. Here's Paul. Oh, McGee with the block. Levine with it. Six points for him. Shoots over Paul. Again, the Zach Lakers Levine. score. San Antonio has gotten seven of 12 three-point attempts to fall. Outside Murray. Pass to Pirtle. Using his post moves to get the two points. And the Spurs lead by six. There's no stopping Pirtle when he has the ball in that spot. Just abusing the defense down in the paint. Making a change here. Eubanks is checked in. Paul, he's checked in for the Lakers. Robinson comes in for LeBron. Outside Levine. Inside. Here's Fall. And he jams it after taking the nice feed on the run. Tell you what, when Levine glides off the pick, I mean, you see the defensive attention he draws. Makes for an easy pass to the roller. Outside Walker. Pass to Eubanks. Murray drives in. Great start so far. Three of three in this one. That's a textbook example of how to move the ball. Boy, you gotta love that action. Levine against Walker. With the drive. Oh, deflected. Davis, the pass to Levine. Back to Davis. Pass to Harrison from downtown. San Antonio with a rebound. Hurdle's got six rebounds now in the game. Well, you look at it, a nice combination of size and mobility made Hurdle a top 10 pick in 2016. He does a really good job bringing energy and taking up space at both ends of the floor. And I love his hands at the offensive and defensive end. And out of bounds, the Spurs will take it. And here we now get a look back on the best shot blockers in the NBA last season. Fifth is Jakob Pertl. It's obvious that he completely dedicated himself to protecting the rim, doing everything he could to get his hands on as many shots as possible. Walker finds Murray. Johnson with it. Pertl with a screen on Robinson. Here's Johnson. Again, the Spurs score. Phil Clark on a permanent basis. Pirtle shot blocking and rebounding are near elite. They really are, B.A., and it's hard for the average fan to pick up on that, but his game is not flashy. It's all substance, and he's got excellent timing at the defensive end and catches just about everything at the offensive end. Now Walker. Here's Eubanks. Pass to Pirtle. Banked it in off the glass. Pirtle's got six points. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Davis a screen. Here's Levine. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And a moment to check out who the San Antonio Spurs have coming up. On Thursday, they'll take on Kristaps Porzingis and the Dallas Mavericks. And then on Saturday, they'll be taking on Chris Middleton and the Milwaukee Bucks. What a great opportunity for this team to take a step forward. They have some tough road games coming up, and that kind of stretch can bring a team together. Winning some of these games will be huge for their overall confidence. Anthony's checked in for the Lakers. Bazemore comes in for Robinson. 
Now here's White. Tight defense on him. Here's Walker. And San Antonio again with a bucket. You know, whenever White sees an open teammate, he's getting the ball to him right away. No hesitation. For Los Angeles, they've gotten six of ten shots to drop in the second. Nice work. Now here's Levine. 13 points in the game. You know, he's got to be exasperated right now, fellas. I mean, playing excellent ball, but they're still losing. Levine against Walker. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Walker's got four points in the quarter. And they've really been more consistent from the field this quarter. Adding to their lead. And you see that field goal percentage for the game steadily heading north. Man, I can't believe he blew that gimme, guys. Well, I know he's frustrated about that. Vassell can't get it to go. The Lakers have gotten 7 of 12 shots to go here in the second. Plenty of space. And the shot goes in. Assist goes to Anthony And here's Walker. Six points for him. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Pass to Vassell. Wide on the wing. Here's an eight-footer. The shot by Eubanks, no good. For Los Angeles, they've gotten eight of 13 shots to fall in the second quarter. Anthony in the post. Here's Bazemore. That one falls. Coming off Davis' feed. Three points. Davis has got four assists in the game. Gets the shot he wants. The defense wasn't quite connected enough. They lost contact. Now here's White. The lead is two. Outside Walker. Launches a three. Knocks it down from distance. Walker's got nine. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three. You fire three of your own. Boom. Here's Davis. A 14-point game for him in the win against Memphis. What about all of his blocks? I mean, he intimidated shooters all game long. Now here's Davis. Davis drawing the double team. The three is up. The rebound by Eubanks. San Antonio has gone three of four from outside so far in the second quarter. Pass to Vassell. Here's Shangun. It's not going to go for him. Ooh, solid defense from Anthony. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. There's no debate there. He got hammered. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. 14 Shooting for Los Angeles. Free throw drops for Anthony. Paul, he's checked in for Walker. And Anthony drops them both. San Antonio leading. If they take their time, this will be the final possession of the quarter. Yeah, they've got to hold for the last shot here. Now here's Paul. Coming off a 16-point game against Milwaukee. And he gave them headaches with his defense. Constant activity at that end with four steals to show for. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. Spurs out in front. They're up by three. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks. I'm here with Spurs head coach Greg Popovich. Coach, how do you get this team playing so efficiently at the offensive end? I beg my butt off constantly. It's embarrassing. At least the begging's paying off, though. Good luck in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be right back to begin the third quarter right after this. Hello, folks. Well, it's been a virtuoso performance by Chris Paul in the first half. Lighting up the scoreboard. I bet you wish you had that feeling, AJ. Even just once. Oh, I love that, actually. I know you wanted that. His teammates are going to him over and over. And for good reason. He's in the zone. And that's a special feeling. All right, and now let's get to this first half and talk about the players who are leading their respective teams. Great fight we're seeing from both these guys. Each one trying to pull his team across the finish line. You know they love this kind of a challenge. 
And that's a wrap on halftime. Thanks for watching as we send you back to BA to call the second half. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Boy, Zach Levine has been sensational. Yeah, he's showing off how skilled he is at attacking the defense and converting at the line. Well, you know, in that first half, it was a common occurrence. He got to the stripe time and time again. Spurs shooting has been good, 54% on this one. And so in the game for Los Angeles. At forward, it's the incredible duo of LeBron and AD. Then there's Zach Levine, then there's JaVale McGee, and it's Harrison in at the one. Now here's White. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. They kick it out to Murray. Just four to shoot. Offensive rebound. This one for three. And there's White. That's good on the assist by Pirtle. And the Spurs lead by six. Well, it's so good to see White growing in confidence with his offensive game and not hesitating at all to shoot the perimeter shot. And Davis gets double teamed. And there's James from the arc. Rebound San Antonio. They've led by as much as 10. Looking ahead to their next game, playing at Dallas, they'll match up against the Mavericks. It'll be the start of a three-game trip on the road. Boy, White continues to be aggressive looking at that mid-range shot. And I know why. He's got a nice touch from there. And the Lakers have possession. Oh, what oh, oh, wow. Good goodness. Come on now. Tell you what, just add that one to the highlight reel. James is truly one of the greatest slam dunkers of all time. And how about our AT&T 5G slam can? Couldn't have captured that play any better. Right side, Johnson. Here's Paul. Uses the glass on the layup. Paul's got 14 points. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Now, here is James. Outside for Levine. It's James on the wing. Double team on James. Fires from deep. Pirtle grabs a miss. Pirtle's got nine rebounds now. Outside White. Outside Paul. Picked by Pirtle. The kick out to White. The three. Yes. And it's Paul with the assist that time. Paul's got four assists now tonight. They're making it look easy out there, just having fun. Yeah, offensively, they've just been rolling. Impossible to stop. Now, here is James. Ten points for him. And it's San Antonio's ball. They've outscored him 10 to 2 during this run. Some people don't give Chris Paul enough credit for his outstanding shooting. But he can knock it down. You can't give him any room. DeRozan has checked in for San Antonio. And while we have a break, here were some of the top free throw shooters in the game last season. Number one, Chris Paul. This guy is just lights out from the line. He demonstrated that last season and really hurt teams whenever they fouled him. Well, Grant, Chris Paul just gets more and more reliable as a shooter, even after all these years in the league. Yeah, I mean, he's always been smart with his shots, but he has great efficiency for a guard, and he could easily put up bigger scoring numbers, but that's not his focus. San Antonio has gone two for two from deep here in the third. Murray against Levine. Pass to Paul. Hauled in by McGee. 
Los Angeles has gotten nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. James against Murray. Double team on James. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. Well, Grant, it seems like each year, play in the NBA becomes a little more wide open and a little less physical. Yeah, it's definitely changed, B.A., what you look for in a player today. Now, if you're overly aggressive, you always will be in foul trouble and of little use to your team. So being able to control your aggression is how you survive in today's game. That one goes in. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. There's Davis with the three. The rebound by Murray. And here are the Spurs now. They're on a 12-4 run. James against Paul. Shoots over McGee. Paul can't get it to go. Not much falling for him this quarter, guys, and you can sense his frustration. James, and it's James with the jam. He's so good at creating his own shot. He's just got an endless supply of moves. LeBron James. Pass to Johnson. Outside Paul. DeRozan outside. The three-pointer off the mark. The Lakers have gone three of seven here in this third quarter. And so the ball out of bounds. McGee tucks it last. You know, I think he may have forced that pass when there was really no reason to. And the Spurs making a change here. Walker's checked in. And the Lakers also making a switch. Bullock's checked in. DeRozan passes to Murray. Back to DeRozan. Murray a screen on James. Lakers foul. The Lakers making a switch here. That's Anthony's first checked in. Personal foul. First team foul. Coming on to the floor for the Lakers. Outside Murray. Rebound by the Lakers. James has got four rebounds in the game. James double teamed. Over to Rosen. Misses off the right iron. The Spurs have gotten 5 of 12 shots to drop in the third. Murray finds to Rosen. And it's blocked. He keeps control of the ball. Here's Bullock. He's got 6. James with the ball. Back to Bullock. Let's go with a 3. And again, no good by the Lakers. San Antonio leading. Now Murray. Give him eight points now. And here's Walker. Here's the pick. Down to five on the shot clock. Murray with it. Picked up by James. Shangun, no good. Los Angeles shooting just about 33% since this second half started. James double team. He's got it going on. LeBron now 7 for 10. Yeah, you watch LeBron play, and it's obvious he gets more joy out of passing to his teammates and setting them up than scoring himself. But tonight, he's feeling it. Now here's Walker. He's got 9. Outside Murray. To the wing, right side. Here's Shangun. And once again, off the mark by San Antonio. The Lakers have gotten only four of ten shots to fall so far in the third. James attacking, and he gets it to go. He's eight of 11 now. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. I tell you, we're taking a look at some real deficiencies defensively. I mean, they've given up five straight good looks in the paint.
Eubanks. He's checked in for San Antonio. Vassell comes in for Johnson. Ellington, he's checked in for the Lakers. Bazemore comes in for Harrison. Here's Eubanks. Pass to DeRozan. And here's Walker. Here's Eubanks. Checked by Davis. Chalk up two there. And the Spurs lead by seven. Want to score in the NBA? Picks can really force the D to make tough choices. Here's Bazemore. Davis down low. Eubanks is there. Davis. That's good. Davis has got six points. Boy, AD showing you how strong and willing to work he is because that was a difficult bucket there. Pass to Vassell. Now here's Murray. The D's right on him. Down low. Three-pointer. Ooh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. That's his first. It's going to be on Anthony Davis. You know, they're not willing to give Murray any easy buckets here. Dean him up as tight as they can, even if it means fouling. White, he's checked in for San Antonio. You know, last year against the Warriors, Murray had a 20-10-8 line. This is a guy who can do a lot of different things for you. First spur to do that since Tim Duncan in 2000 post a 20-10-8 line. Now here's Davis. Pass to Bullock. Let's the three fly. The rebound by Eubanks. San Antonio has gone two for five from three since halftime. Now Murray. Here's Eubanks. And it's blocked by Davis. Davis's anticipation and timing. So good at the defensive end. This guy is a shot blocking machine. And it's DeRozan missing. And yet, despite his production, Murray still flies a little under the radar, Clark. Well, some of that is he's still relatively young in his career. He only played one year of college ball, B.A., and it also has to do with his consistency. He's a bit streaky as a shooter, and sometimes when the shot isn't there, he starts pressing a bit at both ends of the floor. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. To the inside, here's Eubanks. And he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. Reliable approach. Getting the ball in the paint and going to work. Here's Bazemore, defended by Murray. Here's Davis, pass to Bullock. That's in there! Davis with the assist! Bullock's got nine. If you bring a double at this level, it can lead to some easy hoops. Here's Vassell. Here's DeRozan. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. That one on Anthony. DeRozan is deceptive in his height and quickness, so I think it makes him hard to guard, especially from this area. Chris Paul, he's checked in for Murray. The Lakers have gone 8 of 15 in the third quarter. Pass to Ellington. Davis drawing the double team. Here's Bazemore. Three-pointer, no good. Well, the Spurs shooting 37% since the beginning of the third quarter. Paul for three. Rebound by the Lakers. Anthony's got his sixth rebound on the night. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this quarter. Man. Here's Bullock. Hits a three-pointer. Bullock's got six in the quarter. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. DeRozan against Anthony. Eubanks the screen. Here's DeRozan. And we've reached the end of the third. It's the Spurs up by four. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. 
And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. Devin Vassell out there with DeMar DeRozan. Then there's Chris Paul. Then it's Derek White. And it's Pirtle in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the San Antonio Five. Here's White. The Lakers getting their last shot to go. Paul for three. Here's Pirtle. Oh, McGee with the block. And that'll be San Antonio's ball as it goes out of bounds. Spurs able to keep the possession. Johnson, he's checked in for San Antonio. Kelvin Johnson. Here's White. Oh, a rip-rattling two-handed jam. Herbal sees a guy on his team open. He finds him right away, whipping that pass there directly. Levine with it. Picked up by DeRozan. Levine passes to James. James double-teamed. Here's Levine for three. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. James has got three assists tonight. DeRozan against James. Pulls up at the elbow. Buries the jump shot. You know, I look at DeRozan. One of the things I like most about this game is that he really employs the mid-range shot. And it's a lost art for most other players. Anthony misses. This has been a close game in a lot of ways. But they do have an edge on the boards. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. You know, not the smartest play a defender can make there. Yeah, unnecessary. I mean, make them earn those points from deep. Don't give them to them free at the line. And he makes all three. And they've been so much more aggressive drawing the whistle here in the second half. And, and guys, I think it's exactly the right thing to do with the lead. Keep going at defenders and find a way to get yourself to the line. Now here's McGee. James, left side. Pass to Anthony. Misses the three. You hate to pile on, but his poor shooting night has really hurt the team. Hurdle. And the dunk by Hurdle. Hey, look at Hurdle. Making it look easy, dropping the hammer down on the defense. James, outside. Can they get it? Soft touch off the glass. James has got 22. He's bringing a lot of energy to this offense, not letting the scoreboard discourage him right now. Boy, I tell you what, the hole would be a lot deeper if he wasn't being as efficient as he's been so far. That one drops for him. And the Spurs lead by eight. They're going old school out there now, working the mid-range part of the floor. They keep pulling up and watching them go down. It's a really nice thing to see. Over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. And he gets it back. Ball finds Pirtle. And the dunk by Pirtle. That gives him a double-double in this one. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. And the Spurs with possession here. The Lakers getting their last shot to go. Pass to DeRozan. LeBron with the rebound. James has got five rebounds in the game. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. Out left to the wing. James double teamed. Three-pointer, Anthony. The shot's good on the assist by James. James has got four assists in the game. Now here's Paul. He's guarded closely. Outside Johnson. Here's DeRozan. It's good. He's six for 12 from the floor. The determination that DeRozan brings to scoring in the painted area, really unmatched. He's not going to mess up too many of those chances. The ball is to the craziest fans. Get a free t-shirt. Let's see it, fans. All right. Look who's coming on in the court. Come on and get up for your Spurs. And the Spurs making a 
change here. Murray's checked in. I was able to listen in on what Frank Vogel told the team earlier. He encouraged them to get out in transition. He said, quote, that team can be tough to score on when they set up in the half court. Let's push the ball at every opportunity. Back to you. Now here's Levine. Anthony, the pass to James. Double team on James. Six to shoot. He hits it just before the shot clock expires. James has got 18 points now here in the second half. On the wing to Rosen. Checked by James. And that one's long. Los Angeles has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. And now just a three-point San Antonio lead. Boy, this is how effective LeBron is in close. Just takes his time, never in a rush, and exploits holes in the defense. And the whistle on the shot. Got some contact there. Misses the shot, but he'll shoot two. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Spurs. Well, their passing has been picturesque, a thing of beauty in both halves. More than a few of their baskets have come off assists. Another thing, they haven't missed a beat on the fast break in either half tonight. Davis, he's checked in for the Lakers. Anthony and Davis. that one drops. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Murray against Levine. Pass to Pirtle. 4-3. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. Hurdle's got seven points for the quarter. The Lakers have gone 8 of 11 from the field in the fourth. Double team on James. Over to the wing. And there's the foul. It's on Keldon Johnson. That'll be a second foul of the game. Walker, he's checked in for White. First team foul. Coming out of the floor for your Spurs. To the paint. It's stolen by Pirtle. Back come the Spurs in transition. Walker passes to Murray. The Rosen outside. Five to shoot. Down low. Here's Pirtle. The kick out to Walker. With the second effort. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Well, I tell you, Pirtle does a nice job using the pump fake to make defenders foul. Hard to stay on the ground when he shows you the ball. Jakob Pirtle, two shots. Timeout Spurs. Fans, the loudest section gets free t-shirts. Let's see who's the loudest. Fans, your Spurs squad. He hits the second from the line. But Pirtle is a massive guy. Somebody that uses his height exceptionally well to get high-quality looks. James goes in. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Keldon Johnson. That's his third personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for Los Angeles. That free throw good from James. You know, it really seems strange to say, but... As big an impact as LeBron's made as a basketball player, he's making an even bigger impact off the court. His philanthropy, his activism. Tell you what, this guy is a special person. I really believe he's going to be a case study of how an athlete can leverage his stardom, his celebrity, his resources in a way that leaves a lasting 
impactful legacy for many, many years to come. Now here's Murray. Pass to Walker. Here's DeRozan. It's kept alive! The kick out to Walker. Shot clock at six. Second chance shot. Ooh, McGee with the block. And he gets it back. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Paul, he's checked in for San Antonio. The Lakers trail. And the ball out of play. The Spurs will have it. Spurs ball. For San Antonio, they've gotten 7 of 16 attempts to drop since the start of the fourth. James against DeRozan. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's on JaVale McGee. You can't be overly aggressive with DeRozan. The second he senses and feels that you are, he'll take advantage of it. That one falls, so he hits both of them. He's done a much better job of getting to the line here. Aggressively taking it inside and not shying away from contact. I thought he was settling a bit in the first. Now here's Davis. It's James on the wing. Double team on James. Outside Davis. Here's McGee. And McGee with the stop. Boy, for a seven-footer, he's got really good bounce, does JaVale McGee, and doing a nice job working on the glass there. San Antonio's gotten just one of their four threes to go here in the fourth quarter. Outside Murray. DeRozan against James. And it's DeRozan missing. And they've been able to maintain this lead despite his inconsistency from the field. Here's James. That shot missing. So the Spurs will take it the other way. You wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the glass. It's clearly been their edge, and in a close game like this, you look for every edge you can find. Los Angeles has gone 2 of 4 from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. And there's the screen. And that's a foul called on Jakob Pertl. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. Here's James. Double team on James. And we're going to have a jump ball. Two minutes Davis down low. Two defended minutes. by Murray. From in close. Wow, way off on that one. San Antonio leading. The three. Here's Pirtle. There's another block. A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Protecting the rim well. Love the hustle. James double teamed. Davis against Murray. And that one's good. Davis. And I tell you what, AD is able to brush off those defenders with ease because of how strong he is. That's what they call weight room. Now here's the Rosen. And we've got 118 left in the fourth. Pocket six. Hurdle with a screen on Davis. Goes back up. They kick it out to Murray. Wide open. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. You know, we often talk about the importance of confidence for these young players, guys. Murray showing plenty of confidence there. Double team on James. Here's Harrison. Second chance effort. It falls! What a beautiful shot! Brings him within three! And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage. Never mind the layup. Come on now. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. It's on LeBron James. Boy, DeRozan is a treat to watch. This guy is athletic, and he throws down some monster dunks. This dude is sick at the rim. Two-possession game now, guys. Some very important free throws there. James finds Davis. 
And Davis gets double team. Pirtle grabs a miss. Levine with a steal. And right here, they can't waste any time. No, you need a quick bucket and then a quick foul. First free throw is good. And that increases the lead to six. Second free throw, no good that time. He really wanted that one. DeRozan against James. Pass to Levine. Puts up a three. Oh, he buries it from outside. Levine is such a really good shooter from deep. You can't allow him to be alone at the arc. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. And a smart choice right there. I mean, you can't allow them to just drain the clock. No, you got a foul. I mean, it's going to come down to free throws here. Foul right away. And so he drops them both. And it's a five-point game. Good composure from the line there. Those shots sealed it. Here's Levine, and the Lakers with possession here. It's a five-point game. You know, it's not only his size and strength and athleticism, but Davis's timing is so special. That's why he boards it so well. Yeah, no choice but to foul in that situation. Although, that's not the guy you want to send to the free throw line. But there was no time, really, to be selective. Stopping the clock was a priority. loose and that one goes out of bounds last touch by Paul a <laughs> great read to get a hand in there and disrupt the play you know even though they didn't come up with the steal that's still a nice defensive play here's Levine for three and the Lakers hit again from deep yeah with each passing season Levine has grown into a larger role as an offensive player and this is another huge night for San Antonio has possession, and there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. He hits the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. Chris Paul plays with a competitive fire that is actually infectious. I mean, even in the latter stages of his career, he is still getting it done at a high level. And so it's San Antonio who scraped by with the win. Boy, they didn't make it easy on their fans or themselves. But at the end of the day, everyone on their side is happy. Yeah, happy indeed. The momentum shifted away from them a few times, especially early on. But give these guys credit for sticking with the game plan and finishing the job. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching. Now let's take a look at the New Balance Player of the Game.